to remove the heat sinks from the graphics processing unit and the central processing unit. Once you have your motherboard disconnected from the case, you'll see these little, um, you know, kind of star latches. And there's all kinds of videos on the web that show you how to do them, but basically, you want to use a screwdriver um, and just keep applying light pressure uh, until you start to get it to, as you'll see here, pop loose. Once you get one side, um, you just want to pick another corner um, and kind of do the same thing with. Again, use a tiny flat head screwdriver. Um, you know, just uh, keep applying light pressure. You don't want to really bend or flex the metal. Um, and once you get two of them, typically you're, you're almost home free from there. You can use your thumb and a little pressure. Once you get that, um, that's there. Your, it should almost come apart by itself. And what you'll see here is, this is the processor for the central processing unit. So there's your CPU of your Xbox right there. You can see, uh, when they built it, they slabbed on a ton of thermal grease. That's always a no-no. You've got a great copper heat block here, but all that paste in there becomes a, just a really bad thing. You want a little as possible just to fill the gaps and not that. So we'll set this off to the side. Um, later we'll clean that, but now we're going to clean the, or remove the graphics processing unit. So again, uh, same steps, use a flathead screwdriver, apply light pressure, um, you'll feel it kind of disengage. Uh, no reason to rush through it, it will just kind of come loose. And if you can't get one, just kind of move to the next one. Um, sometimes it may be a uh, caddy corner. Again, these are just bit metal pieces. I tweak my screwdriver. Right you may even switch to a smaller flathead screwdriver if you see. I see a little groove in there. Um, where I can get at it a little better, I think. There we go. Sometimes uh, you just need to see if it's the right size or not. You can get a great little kit at Radio Shack for a few bucks. Um, you don't need to spend a lot of money. Just just get something that has a lot of a lot of different ones. You don't want to use a lot of pressure to push. Um, that grease on there is actually fairly sticky, so you just kind of want to use your pressure in your hands um, and, and wiggle it off. Again, look at all the grease on there uh, as compared. So you'll see here the uh, graphics processing unit and all the, all the thing there. So the next step is now that we've removed these, we'll keep that together. Uh, and they're not screwed down, it's just a clamp. That's the only thing holding that pressure is the pressure of this clamp and that. Um, which that's like kind of suspect as well. So just keep that in mind. If, some people use uh, little, little M5 screws and tighten it themselves and not over tighten it. So next steps will be cleaning the CPUs until you get a mirror-like finish on here. 
you'll use cotton swabs. There's some material I just bought from a local store. Um, thermal material remover, um, thermal surface purifier. Uh, you can also use uh, rubbing alcohol wipes. So 